Hello everybody. Well today I'm going to be having a look at the 1911 pre-decimal British penny. We've got Britannia on the reverse with the date there, 1911, and on the obverse is a portrait of King George V. It's quite a common coin and in this condition you'd probably pick it up for about 50p, between 50p and a pound, not much really. So let's put that down there and have a look at another one. Okay, we've got another one here, again, King George V, 1911, roughly the same condition as the other one. And this one, if I was to put this on eBay, I'm confident I would get about £75 for it. In fact, if I put it on for a buy it now for £80, I'm pretty confident it would sell. So what's the difference? Let's have a look at the difference. Now the valuable one on the left is called the Hollow Neck or the Gobi X and the one on the right is the standard one and in this light it stands out quite clearly you can see the hollowness of the king king george v's neck there whereas on this one the neck has a smooth finish it's called the Gobi X because it's named after the man that discovered it michael Gobi. there he is michael Gobi is the author of the british penny victoria 1860 to 1901 struck for use as currency i'm still looking to get the latest edition of that one Michael Gobi also had a coin shop for many years. Uh, it's not trading anymore, but he's still got an online presence, and I'll put a link to the website below. Now, there are other ways to find out which is which. Um, if you look at the word Brit at the top there, you see the I of Brit. Now, this is the common coin. The I doesn't line up with one of the teeth at the top, or the beads. It doesn't line up. If you draw a line, it goes in between them. And the same at the bottom of the coin, the word imp, the eye of imp doesn't line up with the tooth. It goes in between. We put a line there. Now let's have a look at the rare coin. Uh, we go to the same word at the top there, Brit. And if we draw a line right down the middle of the eye, you see it lines up perfectly with a bead. And the same at the bottom of the coin, the word imp. Draw a line through the eye and that will line up with one of the teeth. And in this image, you can clearly see the hollow at the back of the king's neck there. Now, I had a little look on eBay. There's one there, and it's sold for £36.11 in August. Uh, I didn't notice that. I would have definitely had a bid on that one if I saw it. Uh, there we go. Definitely pointing at the tooth, the eye. There's a little bit of damage on this one, though, down both the top and the side, and a bit of a nick at the back of the king's head there but still somebody got a bargain there and just having a look at some of the others on there these prices are far too high on these bite nows there's one there I've got uh, one bid on it for 35 pound I keep my eye on that one uh, 90 pound that one it's a bit too much there now we're a little bit too high priced on that one and I don't think that one that's got a bid on it, what's it got? Five days, 11 hours, it's definitely going to go for more than 35 quid, definitely. So there we are then, I hope uh, gave you a bit of information there. I'd like to thank uh, Dan for this, Mr. Dan Parker, pre-decimal Dan for sending me this one. I will definitely not be selling it, it's the only one I've got. And I will be on the lookout for others. I've gone through all my uh, 1911 pennies and it's the only one. There's no more there. Okay, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next video.